What, what keeps you going? Well, say, uh, you have a dream when you're a kid. I'm not dreaming to get in church, so watch something. point of being postmodern or being avant-garde or whatever wasn't to follow in a certain kind of tradition that all that stuff is bs imposed by critics and camp followers afterwards that what the really great artists do and it sounds very trite to say that a lot but what the really great artists do is they're entirely themselves they've got their own vision their own way of fracturing reality and that if it's authentic and true you will feel it in your nerves Most artists feel a lot happier discussing the process of what they do rather than what they have in their music. Back in like the 70s, we used to have old school records with no beats hardly. So we had to find something to scratch. So we would take the heavy metal records and just scratch the drum part over and over. I like them to get easier in mind a little bit because there's too many heavy songs out now. This music is getting too heavy. I know so many painters who title their works after they've done it. set out to market it, market this music as that, you know, just, you know, that's what happens when the main media touches on it. They have to call they it something. They put the music out, they want to insert their character in it, so they call it such and such, so the music is the edge. I'm not an elitist or whatever, they say I only want my songs to be heard by a certain intelligent quota, you know, I, I just want everybody. Not restricting music is for everybody, it's an international language and that's what it is. Well, I mean, well, I have a belief in the music. And, uh, I like to think it's so many times. I had to cut from images. I never listened to bass players.